Let us pray. O oh Lord, we confess that we have sung the hymn in which the confession is made, that we want your Christ to live in us always. And while we have sung the hymn with fervent sincerity, we also confess that we are perplexed by the very idea that Christ could live in us. After all, Christ is so holy, and we are so short of holiness. We find it difficult to believe that he would want to live in our sordid human house. And yet the scriptures remind us that Christ always stands at the door of our hearts, seeking fellowship within us. He desires to sup with us as he supped with his motley group of disciples in that common upper room. Those disciples were a mixed lot, saints and sinners, strong of heart and weak in resolve, believing and doubtful, helpful and hurtful. But the Christ spirit is comfortable with each of those contradictions. For Christ lives to enli enliven all with the fruit of the, of the spirit, peace, patience, joy, hospitality, hope, and love. And Christ enlivens those who seem least likely to succeed like youthful John, who trimmed the flapping sail, yet homeless on Patmos died. And like Peter, who hauled the teeming net, yet head down was crucified. And, O oh God, we are mindful that even in small ways your presence is made known through us. A cup of cold water given to a stranger a hot meal delivered to the homebound, a prayer uttered for an enemy, a bite delivered to one with a new job, and hospitality to all who come. So in many ways, O oh Lord, we live out the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.